Xin chào. Hello and welcome back, especially to my Vietnamese viewers. In the days of the judges, Israel would get into a cycle. They would worship God for a while. They would turn from God and worship idols. God would let them be oppressed and ruled by another nation. Then Israel would repent, realizing how much they need God. So God would provide a deliverer, a judge, and then they would worship God for a while. And then they would sin again. This time when they sinned, God let them be oppressed and ruled by the Philistines for 40 years. When they repented, God had chosen a godly man and woman to be the parents of a child who would grow up to free Israel from the Philistines. Samson was gifted with incredible strength. However, in order to keep that strength, that blessing from God, he had to live by certain rules. He could not drink alcohol, he was not allowed to touch anything dead, and he could never cut his hair. One day, Samson met a Philistine woman, who he thought was so beautiful he wanted to marry her, so he ran to his parents to get their approval. At first they were reluctant to let him marry a Philistine woman, but they met her parents and decided to agree to the marriage. Since that time, Samson had gone back to talk to her, and one of those times a lion jumped out and attacked him. But God's strength in him was plenty to destroy the lion. On his way back to the marriage, he saw some of the bees making honey inside the lion carcass. Ignoring God's rule, he reached inside and grabbed some honey for himself. At the wedding ceremony, Samson was talking to some of the Philistine men, and they made a bet. Samson had a riddle, and if they could not tell the answer, they had to give him 30 coats. But if they did find out the answer, he would have to give them 30 coats. His riddle was this. Out of the eater came forth meat, and out of the strong came forth sweetness. This, of course, referred to the honey from the lion that he had killed. From the eater came meat, came food, honey. From something strong came sweetness. After three days, these men could not figure out the riddle, so they came and threatened his wife because they didn't want to lose, and she was scared, so she bade Samson to give her the answer, which she then told the men, which the men then told Samson. Samson was angry that he lost, and so rather than go out and buy 30 coats, he found 30 Philistines in a nearby town and killed them for their coats. When he came back and gave them the coats, he left. The parents to his wife were confused, and they thought he didn't want her anymore. So after a while, they ended up letting her marry another man. When Samson eventually returned and learned the news, he got angry again. And this time, he took some foxes and tied a torch between their tails and let them loose in the fields. Samson found another woman he fell in love with, but the Philistines were looking for an opportunity to get revenge and take him out. He was just too strong, so they needed to find his secret. With this woman who would get his trust, they gave her lots of money to discover his secret. Three times she asked him what the secret to his strength was, and three times he lied. The next time Delilah asked, Samson told her the truth. He said that if his hair was cut, then he would lose his strength. Well, the next time he took a nap at her house, she cut his hair, and she had Philistines ready to take him. And when he woke up, he realized she had betrayed him. Samson had been impulsive, acting in his own desires in the moment rather than following God. And now he lost God's blessing. However, as he was led in chains to the Philistine celebration, Samson prayed for God to give him strength one more time. With it, he was able to break the house, break the pillars he was chained to, and kill everyone in the building. Samson made many failures due to his disobedience, but he eventually realized his dependence on God. He could have learned it much earlier in life. But his story is here, 
so we can learn from him, that we need God in our lives. We won't get far without him. It is better to rely on God than our own desires and wisdom.